What is going on guys? Tyler here back with another video. Man, I'm excited today. We're going out for some smallmouth. The water temperature should hit like 65 degrees by, I don't know, 10, 10, 30 by the time we get to the river. But water's been super cold this week, dipped down to 46. And over the last two days, it's rose 20 degrees. So I'm hoping, hoping for a fire bite. But Zach went out yesterday. I think he ended up getting on like six fish in like five hours. So it was a pretty slow bite. He said everything was stuck to the bottom. Got a few things rigged up for a slow bite and just in case those fish get out chasing. But let me show you what I got rigged up right quick and uh, we'll go meet up with Zach and we'll head to the river. To start out with, gonna have to do some finesse fishing. Got a Ned rig and one of my new favorite colors called Bubble Gut. Green pumpkin on the back, pink on the front, a little bit of red flake. I've caught a ton of fish on that this spring already. Then I'm moving to a small swim bait if we can get on a little moving bite if it bites a little better today. But this right here, this fluke style bait on this minnow style jig head is absolutely deadly. I caught so many smallmouth on it this fall. And I just, all three of these, this is my 100% my favorite finesse baits. I do have an underspin rigged up, chatter bait, um, a few other things in the box in case the bite's a little better than I expect. But this is what we're gonna start out with. Let's get geared up and let's go get in the water. There's one. There we go. Yeah, it's definitely fish. I don't know what it is, but... Oh, it's a little smallmouth. Easy fella. That's not a bad fish, I mean... Start with, what's that? That was over there in the shade. In the shade? Yeah. Okay. Nah. It's a little chunky, isn't he? Oh yeah, he's feeding for sure. That's how all this dude fish number is. one. Right. Yep, that's a fish for sure. That's kind of help. There's one. That's a good fish too. There's two with it. Oh my God, that's a good one too. Hey, come here. I'm gonna try to catch both of these fish. That's a solid fish though. It's definitely the best one of the day. First fish I'm gonna break up the new ruler on. 16 and a half here. It was the first solid fish of the day. 16 and a half inches. He had another one with it, but I just couldn't uh, get him unhooked in time to keep him interested. Solid fish nonetheless. I keep wanting to check uh, over on the bank to my left. Thinking they're gonna be pushed up. If you'd heard that turtle dive in the water. There's a fish. Oh. Dude, not bad. Maybe we shouldn't move here. Not yet anyway. What's that? Stay down, stay down, stay down. Like Is that on the bottom? Not really. No. Right I mean, not bad, That's dude. a pretty fish though. Ended up breaking off that Ned rig and had to tie on. Of course it's all screwed up now. Switched up to that other finesse bait I was showing you earlier. Little jerk bait on a jig head. I guess that's a fluke, but you know what I mean. There we go. It's 
fish number six. Hey, I found one. And here he goes. All right, that is fish number six. To kind of put this into perspective because you guys are only seeing a quick video. Um, we started fishing at about 11, 11, 15. It is currently 5.30, so a little over six hours. We have had a pretty slow day, but let's see what happens. Okay, so the GoPro wasn't recording and this fish, literally, I didn't have four feet of line out over in this lay down and it nailed it. I wish you could have seen that fish. Like I, I try not to exaggerate. Yeah. I really don't think that may have been the biggest fish that I've ever seen out of here. Oh, there you go. Oh, what up, dude? What up, Smalley? Yeah, right off the edge of that lay down. Come here. Don't you? That's a decent one. That's not bad. <laughs> dude. Oh my god, dude. Right where I cast it, there was a giant smallmouth and I'm hung up. No! I don't want to say 20 just because, you know, we keep saying that but it was massive. Look at this fish, dude. Oh my God, right at dark. That is a stud of a smallmouth. Oh my God. All right, we're gonna get a length guy. Whoa, I can't even talk. We're gonna get a length on this guy when Zach gets up here and see what he goes. Oh, it's not. It's freaking 20, bro. Like a little over 20 actually, isn't it? Hold on, come here, come here, come here. Yep. This fish might go 20 and a half. I think it did. That's hold on, hold on. Is he all the way bumped? He's bumped right there. I mean, dude, he goes 20, 20 and three quarter. 20 and three quarter. Dude. Let's freaking go, dude. There's probably water in my speaker because I fell in a little bit ago, but. So I don't even know if you can hear me, but I just broke my PB smallmouth again, two weeks in a row. What was it, 20 and three quarter? Yeah, 20 and three quarter. 20 and three quarters inches, man. All right, we're gonna let this dude go. Absolute stud of a smallie. All right, guys, I really got to start closing these videos out the same day. It's like two weeks later. The day this video was recorded was absolutely insane. I think I ended up with 17 fish. Broke my personal best smallmouth again. My first citation fish here in West Virginia. That fish went 20 and three quarters of an inch and been searching for years for a 20 inch smallmouth and finally landed it. Rookie mistake not having the camera on, but what do you do? I was getting a little aggravated because I kept getting hung up in the rocks, but had I not got hung up over there, I never saw that fish and had the opportunity to catch it. So. That's how it goes sometimes, man. Get aggravated in the moment, but you get rewarded shortly after. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Appreciate you sticking around, tuning in and watching. As always, we'll catch you on the next one.